Zozilla Tunnel project significance of this project is immense. If we consider the all weather connectivity 24 7 throughout the year to the people of Ladakh and to connect them with the mainland, provide them all kinds of facilities throughout the year. This is the most important uh, venture being carried out because as we know, uh, to cross over from Kashmir to Ladakh, you have to cross over Zozilla Pass, which is at an altitude of about 11,600 odd feet, which is generally closed for about three to four months in a year during winters because of heavy precipitation of snow uh, to the tune of about 15 to 20 meters height. And it is humanly impossible to going across that pass. Humanly, it's impossible. Because of that, the people of Ladakh always get cut off for about three to four months and they have to depend on whatever this winter stocking has been done in respect of food, diesel, petrol, anything that you, uh, which is required for the survival of the human being. This project was sanctioned by government of India and it's a highly challenging project. This project is completed. The people of Ladakh as well as people of Kashmir will be highly benefited from the tourism point of view and from the economic point of view. The project is divided into two parts. One is the approach road of 17 kilometers to connect Sonmar with the Baltal. This is an approach road. Apart from the road, there are bridges, long bridges, the snow galleries, the cut and covers, mitigation against uh, safety, uh, against the avalanche prone areas, which has been completed. Mega Engineering has already completed the uh, all formalities and submitted our completion report and it is ready for use. The second part is the exact 13.135 km tunnel, Zozila tunnel which we call it as, which starts from place Baltal in Kashmir and opens up in Ladakh in a place known as Minamar. The slope of the tunnel is about 3% upward gradient towards Ladakh. Work is being executed from both sides. It's a single tube, unidirectional traffic. The 13 out of 13.135 kilometers, we have already completed about 10.6 kilometers of excavation. Balance is about 2.4 kilometers that we are hopeful that by the end of this year, we will be able to make it through. Apart from this, the challenges, major challenges are ventilation. The project doesn't have the escape route or ventilation separate tunnel. So there are vertical three shafts approximately at a distance of 3.5 kilometers. Uh, vertical shafts have been given, which will provide the fresh air inside the tunnel during the operations. Out of these three ventilation shafts, one shaft has already been made through, which is on the Ladakh side. The work on the balance two is in progress. And we expect the Baltal from the, the first uh, ventilation shaft will be completed by June. And the central one that we expect by end, the end of the year, we should be able to complete it. And subsequently, balance work of making the road, ventilation systems, lighting and other allied uh, services to be completed. We are planning to complete it by 2027-28.